How's the suit feeling so far? This is incredible. The simulations really don't do it justice. Hard to believe you're hitting Mach 3 so easily. I could push it even further. Here we go. I don't see any problem with... Wait, why are there warning flags on my screen? We just started. Ah, well, I was a little rushed getting this ready. There may be a loose panel or two. But not to worry. Aether is outfitted with repair kits that you can use to fix light damage. You know, if that ever happens again... It won't. Then, if we're done joyriding, let's get this field test underway. Weapons free, Captain. Take these drones down. On it. Oh! Tell her to try out the railgun. I want to see how that performs. Uh, Yuto, please stay off this channel. I'm trying to watch the ammo reserves. I wouldn't mind testing out the railgun next. <laughs> Approved. Let's give it a try, Captain. Michael, I was wondering, does this test include the close combat systems? I don't think so. General? We're running through all systems today. Now for a test of the suit's evasive maneuvers. Be careful, Tess. I'm sending some targets your way with a live laser. You should be able to avoid damage to the suit by overcharging the thrusters. Now for the fun part. I thought that was the fun part. During our tests, we found an unintended consequence of the magnetic propulsion system. Wait, are you talking about when you accidentally melted half the- No, that was different. We fixed it since then. Should I be worried? Captain, I can assure you it has been tested extensively. You know, can you concisely explain yourself? Sure. All of your projectiles carry a residual magnetic charge. As you fire on a target, that charge accumulates. That magnetic field can then be destabilized by the field generated by your reactor. Basically, shoot things, get close, surge your reactor, they'll explode. Sounds like fun. I can do that. It gets even better. If you manage to get other targets in range, the explosion will hit them all. You did well today, Captain. Return to base so you can celebrate properly. That's odd. One of the support satellites has gone dark. Oh, hang on, there goes another. And another. General, all my eyes are going down. Specialist Hayes, how are Ether's diagnostics looking? Everything's working perfectly, General. Green lights across the board. Captain, how do you feel about extending this field test? I thought I'd be the one to ask that question. Ready as long as you need me. Prepare Ether for orbital flight. Let's see what we can find. Contact! Taking fire! Weapons free! Specialist Hayes, get me a profile recognition. There's no match in the database! The Spectra graphics! I've never seen anything like this! Interesting. If I'm reading this right, these ships are totally uncrewed. Are they being controlled remotely? Can you hack into them? Believe me, that was the first thing I tried. Shooting them seems to work just fine. Buckle in, Captain. I'm seeing quite a few more on the way.
seems that they have more than one model. Specialist, run a comparison between the two. It looks like it's built on the same chassis, just with more firepower. Well, it went down like all the rest. Another new model. It's fast. If I had to guess, it's designed to put a hole in you. Don't let it. I think my thrusters can outpace it. Just need to do some clever maneuvering. This looks like the last of them. Stay sharp, though. It looks sturdier than the rest. They haven't given me anything I can't handle.
Outstanding work, Captain. Return to base for debriefing. Specialist, get me a full field analysis. I want to know what those things were, I want to know what they were doing here, and how the hell they got past our sensor grid.